Well, Tommy Lahren is the host of Tommy Lahren is Fearless on Outkick, and she joins me now. Tommy, I'm sure you share my joy that this couple have rightly been nominated for this prestigious Hollywood award, because what could be more heartwarming or worthy of an award than trashing your family in public? Right. Well, at the top there, Piers, you said the most ludicrous duo. And I have to push back a little bit because everybody in America knows the most ludicrous duo is Joe and Kamala. But besides <laughs> them, yes, Megan and Harry, Megan and Harry do fit that bill. But I'm also a little confused, Piers, because I know out of Hollywood, they have a new set of quotas that you have to meet to really be nominated or get an award for anything. And we know that they like to trash the royal family, call everybody racist. But I don't think that that makes them qualify for this new quota system. I think you have to be of color, but I think you also have to be LGBTQ plus A, maybe an illegal immigrant. I'm not sure, but I don't quite think they fit into that category. And as we know, they reek of privilege. So they should fit right in in California. I hope they win the award and then maybe they can just go away. I don't know how they got, got into the shortlist for nonfiction because most of what came out of their mouths in that Netflix whine uh, has been challenged as being lacking in truth. So they should really be in the fiction department, shouldn't they? Well, it kind of goes along with everything that Hollywood celebrates, as we know. But I'm also confused here as to how people continue to want to hear from them. They don't want to be part of the royal family, but the only content they can deliver is bashing the royal family. So at some mm. point, that's going to run dry. So they're going to have to run back to the royal family for a while, get more content, and then come back. Because otherwise, without that title, they're quite simply pretty boring. And I think most Americans know there's only one royal family in the United States, and that's the Kardashians. <laughs> who have been famous for doing relatively nothing. But Harry and Meghan, as far as I know, do not have Kris Jenner in their corner, so best of luck to them. But I have a feeling not a lot of content's going to be there for them in the next, next six months to a year. They simply have nothing. They have nothing. Uh, so they may as well write about themselves and spill the beans about each other. I'd watch that. That would be a series I'd watch. Harry and Meghan trash each other. Tommy, great to see you. Thank you very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.